is Jill with Crick Flicks, and this video is for H. Blandon. Um, you had said that you were having trouble cutting out the image of the bubble guppy, the, the dog, the gubble puppy. Um, they do have a lot of great images with re real high pixelation. Here's one that I chose off of a Google search. Where did my Google? There was your conversation right here. Um, there was numerous... Um, images that had really really good but I picked this one just because I don't already have this one so I thought I'd keep it and add it. Um, when I know what you're talking about because when you do the trace and it's got all that white um, and I take the low the high pass filter off and I try and get it all covered it doesn't cover the white areas. Um, there's a couple ways of doing this, but I'm going to pick the easiest of the two the way that I do it. I take the image and I get as close up as I possibly can. Then I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to use the curved knife and I am just going to go along this entire image using my curved knife. Now, um, it takes some practice if you're not used to doing it like this. Um, I use this feature frequently. Lots, tons. I can't even emphasize how much I use it. And so I'm really, really used to, um, you know, it, the cuts are the clicks. And when you get to places where you're going to turn sharp edges, I click a couple times so I can get a sharper curve. I don't know if that makes sense, but again, it just takes practice. The reason that I blow it up and get as close as I possibly can is so that I can see, like for instance here, I'm going to make a turn. So I'm going to click one more time so that I can make a pretty sharp turn here um, to go around his body. And here's another one. I'm going to click again. Uh, I, I, I can't explain to you now I wasn't paying attention there and oops now I gotta try and back up one well I don't think I can until I double click and I don't wanna start all over again I've already cut him out but I just go around the entire image and every single one of those little blue boxes that you see as I'm clicking here that is a click of my mouse and I'm gonna go around him as quick as I can. Again, I'm going to make this look real easy and you're going to do it and you're going to go, well, it's not that simple. When I first started doing this, it was not. It takes, but now I'm so used to doing it, I, I use it, like I said, frequently. But this is how to get the image, because another way you can do it is when you trace it, then you can do an offset and take and make a bunch of shapes and fill in the, the voids with white and put them, um, put them to the back of the image and fill in those white spots. That is a, a whole nother video. Um, and in this particular case, because of the fact that he is so easy to cut out, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show you that process on this particular guy because this, this would be the easiest route on him. This would be the way that I would do him. See, when it comes to the end, now I'm gonna zoom out. So I'm not so close. I'm going to take this and I'm going to delete it. And there you have him. And he, I mean, he's clean as a whistle. That would be how I would do the bubble guppy. Now, sometimes when you get in there and you see you got a little area you might have missed, like right here, there's a little gray. If you're concerned about that, you can just go in there and remove it. Use your eraser. Or you can do it with an, uh, a knife. Um, you can't hardly see it, but there's that little tiny piece I took out because there was a little bit of gray there. Um, if you'd like, you could do a contour around him, and let's say I'm going to color this one black. This will give me a real good idea how smooth the lines are. See, if I zoom in, you can see how smooth my lines actually are by putting a black line around it. I didn't miss any areas at all. Again, use your knife on a curve. You can do it freehand, but I only do freehand on really tiny spaces that um, require a very, very, very sharp corner or something. Um, 
it's not easy. Freehand, you have to very have a very, very steady hand to do that. I used to use the bamboo, um, but it's hard. It's hard freehand. I would rather use what the tools in this software. I hope that helped you. That would be the way that I would do it and would cause you the least amount of aggravation. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye-bye.